Hugh Hoagland from eHazard. We often get the question about PPE, especially face shields. How does this thing protect me? Well, we want to give you a little insight into how these things work. I have with me an Arc Shield, one particular brand of Arc Shield. We actually did some infrared testing, visible light transmission testing, and UV spectrum testing to determine what these different things did. And we also tested some real common safety glasses, both uh, clear, amber, and uh, regular sunglasses. And a lot of people think that the darkness of the shield makes the difference, but that's not true at all. Actually, it's the infrared absorption or the infrared transmission of that shield. This particular arc shield had an infrared transmission of only 1.5%. So it doesn't allow much of the infrared radiation to come through. It allows almost none of the UV radiation, and it allows about 70% plus of the visible light. There are new shields out there that look kind of gray, but they still have about the same amount of total light transmission. They don't block ex specific wavelengths. They kind of block across the spectrum. So when you're looking at arc shields, it's not about how clear they are. Actually, this clear shield blocked almost none of the visible light, 5%. It blocked about 5% of the uh, uh, IR, but it, and it blocked all of the UV, yet it showed uh, burns at 1.8 calories protection. So it's not a lot of protection for this particular thing from the infrared radiation. It'll block the convective currents coming at your eyes. It's definitely a good idea to wear safety glasses. In the second case, we did an amber. It blocks about 5% of the infrared radiation, not much different than the clear one. Blocks a little bit more of the visible light. Again, blocks all the UV. And then we tried a darker, but it's, it's calorie rating, or 2.4 calories. The other one we tried was kind of sunglasses. And we wondered how this would do. Well, it only did about 3%, even though it's quite a bit darker than the face shield, as you can see. Uh, can't, can't see this through this nearly as well as I can an arc rated face shield. It still blocks very little of the infrared uh, transmission of the light. And so its arc protective value, unlike this shield, which is close to 15, 20 calories, is only about 3.3 calories. Now, this is not to say it's not good to wear safety glasses. And it's definitely not good to say it's not good to wear sunglasses. We had a particular accident with these glasses involved. One worker was wearing the clear, one worker was wearing the sunglasses. The one worker did not get any eye burns on their skin on their eyes, but he actually got a burn on his retina. The worker who was wearing the dark safety glasses actually didn't get the burn on the retina, and they were both looking at the same arc. It's a possibility there was some difference in their angle or something like that that would have made a difference, but in the situation, the safety officer said he thinks that these protected more, and they probably did, but it was only a calorie or two more. So again, wear your arc-rated safety glasses, or wear your regular safety glasses, but someday we may have arc-rated safety glasses, and they would make a substantially big difference in terms of blocking that infrared radiation. But again, blocking something's better than blocking nothing, so wear your safety glasses.